Hello friends, welcome to the next session and the last session of Polzan Automata. In this session, we are going to study how to get a context-free grammar converted into push-down automata. So friends, in this session, where we are interested in converting a CFG to push-down automata, it is very important that you have a good background of what is a context-free grammar and what is a Gribak normal form. Because the first and foremost thing which is required to convert a CFG to PDA is to have the grammar converted in the Gribak normal form. Unless and until it is in GNF, you will not be able to do anything to get it converted to push down at all. So friends, let us discuss the steps as well as a problem on the same in the same video. So over here we say given context free grammar G equal to V T T S, we are going to define a PDA which is mathematically represented as m equal to q summation g del q0 z0 f next i say first and foremost thing we are going to express the cfg in the gribak normal form which says all the production should be of the form X gives A alpha where A is going to be a terminal and alpha is going to be in sentential form. That is any combination of variables or terminals. The next is, I say over here, my Q is going to be my Q0 always. Then my next thing, summation is going to be the T in the context free grammar. Third one, my g is going to be is equal to my set of variables which are called by t dash fourth one my q0 is going to be equal to q0 again my fifth one z0 is going to become the start symbol of the context free grammar sixth one final state is not going to be present over here why that will understand when I start with the problem. Then, the next and important thing, we have simply two rules for convergence. So, let me write down the rules over here. So, the first is my rule one says, if I have a production maybe of the form A gives small a, b, c, first and foremost thing, it is in GNF. And how do you convert it to PDA? You simply say del q0 on small a when the stack top is capital A goes to q0 and stack happens to be converted to BC. Similarly, my rule 2 it says for a production of the form A gives A, you write del q0 on a when the stack top is a goes to q0 and performs a pop operation as simple as that just remember these two rules and the problem is solved so now let's start with the problem and try to get a deeper understanding of the same so friends the problem which is given to us says design a push down automata for the following so now, before we start deciding how to do a push down automata for it, let us write a couple of important things that we just discussed in the definition. First thing is we have to get it converted to GNF and therefore I say in the solution, let my C1 be deriving small a and C2 be deriving small b which makes my S converted to A S C1. Yes, I know the question over here is why have we not replaced for first small a also? Because we want it in the form of Gribak normal form 
we are keeping the first terminal as it is and rest everything we are getting it converted to alpha with the help of C1 and C2 respectively. Therefore, I now say again keep B as it is, S followed by C1 and the last one is going to be C as it is. Further going ahead, over here, I have my Q to be my Q0. Next, I have my input alphabet as A, B and C respectively. Third, my stack symbol G as the same that is A, B and C respectively. My start state Q0 remains as Q0 always. My Z0 is going to be the start symbol which is capital S. And as I told you before that the final state is going to be empty. So let's go ahead and solve the problem now. Before solving the problem, let me rewrite the rules for you. So we have the rules over here. Let me write it. A gives A B C. We say del Q0 A A equal to Q0 B C. And for A gives small a. I say del Q0 A A performs the pop operation Q0 epsilon without changing the state. Let's start with the problem. Now, for the first production, we have, I'm talking of this one, S gives A S C1, del Q0 on A when the stack top is S goes to Q0 and I have SC1 on the stack. Next for the second production, which is this, S gives B S C1. Again using rule 1, I say Q0 on B when the stack top is S goes to Q0 and I have SC2 on the stack. Going ahead for the third production which is simply the C. Using rule 2 I say Q0 on C when the stack top is S goes to Q0 comma epsilon. Next one, for C1 gives A, this production, I say using rule 2, Q0 on A, when the stack top is capital C1, goes to Q0, comma epsilon by performing the pop operation. Lastly, Q0 on B when the stack top is C2 again goes to Q0, performs the pop operation, and here we stop. There are definitely going to be a lot of questions in your mind as to how this thing is actually going to work. So, here comes an example for you to verify whether the machine is working fine. So, maybe I say Example, I'm in state Q0. Input is A, B, C, B, A, and stack top is S. So Q0 on A when the stack top is S. Let me label the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So Q0 on A when the stack top is S using rule 1, I say go to Q0. What remains is B, C, B, A and we say we are going to push over this. S becomes S, C, 1. S becomes S, C, 1. We are working with context-free grammar. So, what we are showing over here is 
what is pushed in place of water, right? So the representation over here is going to be slightly different from what we are studying till now in all the previous problems. Further, Q0 on B when the stack top is S, Q0 on B when the stack top is S using rule 2, I say go to Q0, what you have is CBA and we have S, C2, C1 over here. Further going ahead, Q0 on C when the stack top is S using rule 3, I go to Q0, BA remains over here and since I pop out the S, I have C2 and C1 on the stack. Then Q0 on B when the stack top is C2 using rule 5, I go to Q0, I have A pending and C2 is popped and therefore only C1 remains on the stack. And lastly Q0 on A when the stack top is C1 using rule 4, I go to Q0, epsilon remains over here and epsilon remains onto the stack. Since both of them contribute to epsilon at the end, I say this input will be accepted by my push down automata, right? If you verify this particular input A, B, C, B, A with a problem, A, B, C, B, A, we can see that this particular input will also be accepted by this context free grammar. You can work on with LMD and RMD as we tried in the previous video and see that this particular string is very well accepted by my context free grammar as well as the equivalently designed push down automata. So friends, with this, we complete the full chapter on push down automata. I am very sure every one of you might have understood the minute details of this chapter. See you in the next session where we are going to start with a totally new chapter called as Turing machine. See you friends. Thank you.